Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So he remained, paying off his debt, made a name for himself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. Stays pitch, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep roads. Surely you'll need all the help you can. No! You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. I'll buy you a drink before we head into the deep roads. Everyone wins. Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. We've made a name for ourselves this last year. We'll find something. We have to. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. <sighs> Maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. Our uncle's not exactly the most reliable tool in the shed. He's all we've got. Make us save us. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Hey! I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you... You don't have the style to work high town, let alone the Merchant's Guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <gasps> brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. You're part of Bartrand's venture. That's right. The deep roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. you so certain we can help you know nothing about us oh on the contrary you've made quite the name for yourself over the last year the coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right and the only group to survive owes it all to you two the name hawk is on many lips these days not bad for a ferelden fresh off the boat you must have heard of my sister as well then only a little she is certainly welcome to come, but I'll leave that up to you. 
Frankly, I'd rather you take the credit. Madam, your secrets are safe with me. Find out what he's offering. We need a way into this expedition. There must be some way to persuade your brother to hire us on. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tie with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. It sounds interesting, but if I had any gold, I wouldn't need this job. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? It's not like I had anything better planned. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Ah, High Town. Where the rich go to piss their money away. <laughs> this really is the best place in Kirkwall. Aveline. Hello, Hawk. That's it. What? 
Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. A person in your position seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity, if you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. This must be a very different pace from serving King Caleb. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. Death on that scale certainly has a finality to it. Sometimes I wonder. The blight is over. You could go back to Lothering. That wasn't home for me. It was just where the Horde pressed us. It wasn't the first village I saw fall. But you don't get used to people losing everything. I'd been away already. I don't know if I'd still call it home. Sometimes the best thing about a place is that it's where you're from. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing. My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. You have a name, or anything else to go on? Not important. If we show up and they attack, they're bad. Simple as that. I'll wager it's smugglers, though. Like I said, seems like an obvious trap for a caravan. You've been nosing around outside your commission. I have contacts. And they're complaining about a lack of meat. Thugs and such. Someone is hiring. And one or two were told to prepare for travelers. You want to be good at this job? You pay attention to what's missing, and when people arrange escape routes. Seems like you'd want to share this with your fellow guards. I will, if you sit on your hands. I'll send my alerts, and someone else will lead a patrol. But there's profit and influence to be had. You're my friend, so I'm offering. I'm no guard, Aveline. There's only so many of us. Temporary recruits are expected time to time, as long as they're competent. You still claim to be competent, right? All right, Aveline. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. <laughs> 